Hello and welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today we're going to learn some VBA. This is lesson number four and it's on how to record a macro. Now, recording macros is normally the very first thing people do when they're trying to learn VBA or trying to automate some of their daily tasks. Automation can save you hours and hours and hours of, of work and also reduce the amount of potential mistakes that you can make. Anybody can record a macro. It's very, very easy. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the developer ribbon visible. Um, so go here, Excel options, make sure that that is clicked. Then click on record macro, give it a name. So my macro. You can add a shortcut key to that so that can be quite useful if you want to run the same macro again and again and again and you don't want to add a button you can create a shortcut key. Make sure you don't override some of the existing shortcut keys like uh, control C to copy. So pick uh, a letter that is never ever used. Save the macro there. Um, you can give it a description if you want. I don't normally. And you click OK. Um, so very very simple thing that we're going to do we're just going to select column G and I'm going to press Control shift plus and that inserts a column I'm then going to go to my VBA module press alt F11 double click on modules and it's recorded in in module 1 and it's called my macro so we can also do something like this. We can select things within the workbook and then go back and see that that has actually added to the code. If we go and select a different cell, rather than adding that, all it does is it just changes the code. So it's not completely stupid, but it is fairly stupid. So that's a very, very basic introduction to recording a macro. When you've finished recording your macro, you just click the stop recording. Then clicking other places doesn't change your macro code. And you can use this record macro to record some of the things that you do every day. And if you do a task again and again and again, this is very, very useful. You can assign a button to it. So if you go to the developer here, Form controls, click and drag, right click my macro, and uh, every time you press it, it will insert a column. Let's just make sure that that's clear. One, two, three. It's inserting a column in G. Clicked it, inserted G, moved these two to the right, and selected cell H4. Okay, excelexperts.com. Thank you for listening. Bye.